Prince Charles, it's been great speaking with you about all things HubSpot. It's very impressive to see how you and your team are using the buying role field inside HubSpot. Clearly, you have a lot of sales experience. It's for rather a long time, certainly 40 years or, or, or a little bit more. Hey, the experience shows. Do you think your team are starting to see the benefits of using the buying role field? Yes. I mean, suddenly they have started in a much bigger way to recognize this. Promising to hear. Now, do you mind if I share with the rest of the HubSpot community how you've got benefits out of using the buying role field? I think it could have a significant impact. It will make an enormous difference, I think, and help to uh, leverage even further support around the world. Hey, let me get on with it. Thank you very much. I can't believe we got through a good old fashioned British conversation without talking about the weather. Picture as we head towards the end of the week. Uh, this afternoon it'll be cold, wet and windy. Ah, OK, there we go. Thanks very much for your time and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care. Bye bye. With Prince Charles's blessing, let's get stuck into the buying role field. This is what it looks like inside the HubSpot account. But before we get started, it's important to know it is not the same as the buyer persona, which is talked about a lot amongst the HubSpot community. It offers completely different value. The buyer persona is primarily a marketing field. That is not what we're talking about today. The buying role field, which is mainly used by your sales team, to map out key decision makers is what we're talking about today. When you're selling to large B2B businesses, you are never selling to one person, you're selling to a buying group. So identifying champions, blockers, influencers becomes very important. The theory of using buying roles when selling to large businesses have been around for quite some time. These two books in particular are great resources if you wanna go a little bit deeper. When you start to use the buying role field, two parts of HubSpot become very valuable. The first is the target account section. This is where you're focusing on your largest opportunities. So understanding the buying group and the roles of those individuals within the group becomes significant. So in this case, it's showing us there's a lot of work to be done to identify all the buying roles and give ourselves the best chance to close these deals. The second part of HubSpot which becomes very useful when you're using buying roles is the reporting section under dashboards. You will have a section called account based marketing and if you scroll down you can see buying role by target account. This will tell you which accounts you have good coverage on and which accounts you need to do some extra work on. At the start of the video I mentioned that the buying role field mainly helps the sales team, which it does. However, the inputs into the buying role then help the marketing team as they can now put together lists of specific buying roles like budget holder for example and send very specific content that will hopefully help close the deal. Hopefully that's given you a good perspective on how buying role works within the HubSpot account and some of the key benefits that you get out of it. If you want to carry on watching in this next section I'm going to show you how the HubSpot pros map out their key decision makers and identify the buying roles. As HubSpot users ourselves we wanted to better understand the key decision makers and the dynamics going on between the buying group. So we created a solution that works from within HubSpot and gives you a visual of the key decision makers, the reporting lines, the relationship lines, and allows you to map the buying roles. Also allowing you to assign colors to help with a visual understanding. It is a fully integrated feature, so it syncs both ways with your HubSpot account and you can even create buying roles inside Orgchart Hub, which will sync back into your HubSpot account. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of the buying role field inside HubSpot. If you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to ask. We're always happy to help out fellow HubSpot customers. Thank you very much for watching.